you're welcome to my channel in this video still we are looking at topic two in business research skills which is planning for research yeah and under this in this video we are going to look at the three main components in research yeah which is purpose of the study research objectives and then the research questions yeah so we shall start with the purpose of study these three main components they relate to each other but serve different purposes so we shall start with the purpose of study purpose of study this is the main goal of conducting a research a research study yeah. the main focus of a researcher should be stated at this point what is focusing at should be stated under this purpose of the study yeah and preferably this should be stated in a single sentence yeah an example is this research is carried out to assess the possibility of enhancing academic performance through increasing commitment level of staff members of universities in uganda that is the purpose of study it's it's precise and it's in one sentence. The research is carried out to assess the possibility of enhancing academic performance through increasing commitment of staff members of universities in Uganda. Yeah. And note that the purpose highlights the following. It should highlight what a researcher wants to do. The researcher wants to increase commitment level of staff members then what is the problem? The problem is the academic performance. Yeah, geographical area, universities in Uganda. So the purpose should highlight the three things, what a researcher wants to do, the problem, and then the geographical area. Yeah. The above are key when stating a purpose of study. In some other research educational materials, the purpose of study is also refers a, referred to as the general objective of study. So if it's not purpose of study, it's called general objective of study. Yeah, and that is all about the purpose of study. The second component is research objectives. Research objectives are more direct compared to the purpose of study. Yeah. The purpose of study is not direct, as we said, it's a general objective of the study. So, the purpose of study is a specific objective of the study. Yes, yeah, so it's more direct as compared to the purpose of study. And uh, example, example of the research objectives, we have to assess the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and the academic grades of students in universities to assess the attitude of lecturer the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and the academic grades of students in universities in Uganda it it relates to our general objective yeah our general objective was the research is carried out to assess the possibility of enhancing academic performance through increasing commitment level of staff members of universities in Uganda, it was general. It was a general objective. Now the research objective is specific. Yeah, to assess the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and the academic grades of students in universities in Uganda. Yeah. Another specific objective can be to assess the level of commitment of lecturers in universities in Uganda. It can be to assess the academic performance of students in universities in Uganda. It can be to assess the association between conducting tutorials by lecturers and academic grades of students in Uganda. So that is the, that is the, what? the specific objective or the research objective of the study. Then the last concept is research questions. Research questions are derived from research objectives or specific objectives. 
Yeah, they are formed by turning those objectives into questions by using common preceding words such as what, when, where, how, which, whom. Yeah, though all these words can be used, there is need to ensure that the question formed is what the researcher wants to address. Additionally, the question must be logical or sensible when it makes sense when you read it. They also have to be written in order in which the research objectives are written. Yeah, so example of research questions. One is, what is the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and academic grades of students in universities? Remember, one of our research objective was to assess the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and the academic grades of students. So we've turned this objective into a question. We've turned the objective into a question to assess the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and the academic grades of students in universities. It was the objective, the specific objective. Then when we turn into when we turn it into a question, it means what is the relationship between the attitude of lecturers and the academic grades of students in universities. So that's how we get the research questions. They are derived from the research objectives. And those are the three main concepts of research. Research question, research purpose of research, and then research objectives. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and watch my next video. We shall be talking about the scope of the study.